Okay, here's a quick little update on the Focus. Um, yeah, so I've been driving it for a little while now, um, turboed. I've probably got hmm, close to a thousand miles uh, boosted. Um, I'm running at just a very low low boost, you know, we're talking like 3 or 4 PSI. Uh, just to kind of, just as kind of a proof of concept, make sure everything works, do some uh, bug squashing, um, all that good stuff. But, uh, we had kind of a, an incident uh, this past week. Um, I was, it was snowing. Um, as you can see, it's, it's winter time. Um, it was snowing, and uh, yeah, so I, it was in the morning, had to go somewhere. Started my car, let it idle for five or so minutes. And yeah, so I jumped in the car, got about two miles away from my house when the interior of the car, the cabin, just filled with smoke. And, you know, obviously that wasn't normal, so I pulled over and uh, popped the hood, and my header was on fire. The header was just, you know, dancing away with flames. Um, it was quite nice looking, but uh, obviously not very ideal. As you can see, it kind of melted a few things here. Let's see if this will focus. Right there, yep. Kind of melted my throttle cable a little bit. Cooked uh, my power steering line a little bit as well. And, um, yeah, the hood liner uh, got a little fried as well. Anyways, so that was on fire, and I was like, well, shoot. Fortunately, there was lots of snow available, so I, you know, put it out with snow. I let it cool down for a little while, drove back home. Didn't catch on fire again, but the, the car, again, filled with smoke. Um, I was in a hurry, so... I hopped out, jumped in the other Focus, and uh, went about my day. So today was the first time that I had, uh, first day that I had a, a chance to look at it, because I've been exceptionally busy. So I was trying to figure out, like, what caused the fire. Um, when I remembered, I didn't have a chance to look at the car until today, uh, but I remembered uh, that in here was just full of antifreeze. And I was like, well, that's really kind of strange. Um, but, so I wasn't sure if antifreeze was flammable, um, so I checked online, turns out it is, and I've got a pretty high concentration of antifreeze, um, in my system, but, uh, so I figured it had something to do with that, wasn't really sure what, um, what it could have been, uh, but as I was looking at it today, so you've got this, um, coolant piece, I don't know, junction, I don't know, whatever you call it, uh, that was there, and I was looking at it a little closer, and, uh, trying to find what could be wrong. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, there we go. Um, you can kind of see along there, there's a bit... Well, it's cracked. <laughs> Long story short. And, uh, the direction that it was cracked, it would kind of let it spray sort of up and over and just sort of coat the entire engine bay. Like, everything was wet, honestly. So, conveniently, I had another one kicking around um, from a, another engine that I have. Um, so I just grabbed that, plopped it in, and I believe that will have solved the problem. I just need to pick up some antifreeze. I think we'll be back in business. I'll be able to drive this and enjoy it. But, as a little update, uh, 3 or 4 PSI, about 4 I guess is what I'm running, um, huge difference already. Uh, took off about 3 seconds off my 0-60 to 60 time. And uh, it's just an absolute blast to drive. It's totally enjoyable. And I haven't had any uh, issues with the system. Um, uh, yeah, basically... I mean, there's been a couple things that I've had to tighten down, but otherwise it's been rock-solid reliable. The tune's been great. Everything has just been exceptionally fun. Alright, so replace that little piece. Uh, top it off with some fresh GO5. And, uh, I mean, it's smoking a little bit, not, not much. Um, I think it's just kind of burning off residual antifreeze and what have you. So, it's been idling for, I'd say, a little over five minutes now. And, uh, everything seems to be ship shape. And, uh, back in business, so that's good. Yeah, it's quite exciting.